So I watched Joker. And as I suspected would be the case, it was disturbing. And it upset me. But it wasn't, you know, any more disturbing or upsetting to me than other films I've seen in my life, you know. And Joaquin Phoenix was phenomenal in it. Like, that's one for the record books, I think, his performance in that film. I didn't watch Golden Globes. I don't know if he was nominated. Um, but he was just unbelievably good in it. Oh. <sighs> Anyhow, I watched it. He was a mentally a loner, treated like shit, and he, and it ultimately led to his you know, going insane. I mean, they even took away his therapy and his meds that he needed to survive. I mean, you know, at least he believed he needed them to survive. Um, he says after he's insane, what do you get when you get, when you, when you, take a, a, a mentally ill loner and mix him with a society who treats him like shit. Oh. Anyhow. The, uh, I'm going to bed really, really late again. That's because I fell asleep earlier trying to watch Joker. Oh, I kept trying fell asleep. Selena was right about that fridge. A handful of you might remember I spent about five hours nonstop cleaning all the disgusting stuff that had leaked under it and taking everything out of the fridge and then putting it all back and cleaning inside the fridge. I cleaned everything for about I, I videoed it. It's probably it was at least five hours nonstop. Well, starting to come back. This lady's like, yeah, there's something wrong. Oh, well. I don't know. At least it looks like we're not headed for war with Iran. Their missile strikes on the military base didn't cause any casualties, anyone any harm. That plane going down and everyone on board getting killed. That's so coincidental that it happened like right after those missile strikes, but until they investigate or whatnot, then they can't, you know, just be a huge coincidence, you know. I don't know. It's all fucked. I'm going to bed. be bitter, bitter cold today, and then 60 degrees Saturday and into Sunday. Isn't that crazy shit? That's New England for ya. Good night.